here we go. The time has come. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, it is showtime. With the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you our referee in charge of this bout, the third man in the ring working in this, his 96th world title bout, Mills Lane. <laughs> Presenting to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing his traditional black trunks and hailing from Catskill, New York. He weighed in at a ready 218 pounds with a record of 45 wins, two losses. He has 39 big wins coming by way of knockout. The youngest man ever to win the heavyweight title. He is looking to exact his revenge and regain his championship tonight. Challenging for his third heavyweight crown, here is the current WBA number one contender, one of the great powers of heavyweight history, the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing uh, Iron Mike Tyson. opponent across the ring in the red corner presenting the defending world champion wearing purple trunks with white trim fighting out of it representing his hometown of Atlanta Georgia he weighed in the same weight as his opponent 218 pounds with a record of 33 wins three losses he has 24 wins coming by way of knockout Please welcome only the second man in history to have captured the heavyweight crown three times, the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, the former undisputed heavyweight world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here is boxing's warrior spirit, the current WBA heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Evander. Once again, our referee in charge, Mills Lane, now to give instructions. Brace off, Richie. Take the brace off the side. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now, gentlemen, we've gone through all the instructions in the dressing room. Okay, what's that back, Richie? Now, look here. Right here. If he goes right here, I'm not going to call it low, okay? If he goes right here, I'm not going to call it low. Now, I expect a tough, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions from the challenger? Chief Second. Any question from the champion, Chief Second? Let's get it on! The waiting is over. The talking is done. The rematch is here. Evander Holyfield, confident, relaxed, cool. He says he doesn't look for the Tyson he fought November 9th. He thinks Tyson will be more aggressive, which he feels plays into his hands. Mike Tyson predicting a sensational victory. The sense of anticipation as before the first fight is almost palpable. Here we go, fight two, round one. A straight right by Mike Tyson, shrugged off by Evander Holyfield. Mike came in with the same thing, one, two, looking to go over to jab. And a lot of movement All right. by Tyson, which we did not see in the first fight. Al Giacchetti said he's going to be bobbing, weaving, he's going to be jabbing. Well, he certainly started out jabbing and then throwing right afterwards. So let's see if we see improvement in the offense of Mike Tyson. I think you can sense the amount of respect here, too, by both fighters. And some wrestling tactics as they come together. Look at the look on Tyson's face as he goes eye to eye with Holyfield. Bill's lane. A wild swing and a bash with an overhand right by Tyson. It's interesting to see who's going to push who back. Chicati said, I'm going to let this guy get pushed back. 
Right Blast off the side of Holyfield's head, an overhand right by Tyson. You know what Mike's doing? Mike's looking to duck and keep his leverage low get and come up, up banging. Come on. I notice he's, he doesn't want to go backwards. And Evander right now is he's picking his spots, but he's looking for something. Mills Lane jumping in there, trying not to uh, have Holyfield clutch and grab. But Holy, Holyfield's coming in low. That last time he was standing straight up. Now when he rushes in, he's rushing in low, so you can't just grab him. See that little waltz? Now who went backwards? Evander Holyfield went backwards. In the first fight, it was Tyson going backwards, and he can't fight that way. The punch by Evander Holyfield. Holyfield measuring Tyson out now with the left jab. Looking to set up the right. There it is. Right on the top of Evander Holyfield's head. trying to play that strategy too, Steve. He's trying to push Mike back, starting it right now, setting the tone. Come on, hit. Under a minute remaining in the opening round. Right there, when Mike goes to come in, Evander ties him up. Mike cannot allow it. He's got to have some punches being on the way. They have to be en route before he gets that close. Oh, combination the head. Evander Holyfield. Back comes Tyson to the left hook to the head of Holyfield. He hurt Mike really good with that right hand. I'll tell you what, though. Mike hit him back with the left hook. This is going to be a war. What a first round. He was in trouble there. He shook. Tyson, he shook him. Straight left by Holyfield. The chance at Holyfield start early. They started in the sixth round of the first. When you're stiff jabbing, good. I want you now jab for the throat. Jab for the throat. You're moving good. Keep off the center. Keep moving and punch. You got to punch. Don't wait on him. Don't take a look at how forward. Tyson got in trouble. Wang! They went that punch. That wasn't the one that got him uh, in trouble. That wasn't the clear, clear punch that got him in trouble. There's a punch to the side that's not much. And uh, again, the struggle. Uh, Let's look at it again, Bobby. You'll see a right hand a little later in the round. Here's the right hand. That's the one that got him trouble. Right right. And he got Mike on the heels. Got him on his heels. Mike's not going forward. Yeah. Bad intentions on the punches from both fighters in round one from the very first second. Evander Holyfield makes his point in the first round. Yeah, and, and he looks much more confident in the way he punches. He, he almost has a confidence. I'm going to hit this guy when I want to, and then it's going to hurt him. I, I wonder what that did to Tyson's confidence. Holyfield picking up where he left off with the crowd behind him. 220 at his best combination. Again, more head movement from Tyson. Something we didn't see in the first fight. He looks over to, to Mills Lane. It's a cut around the right eye of Mike Tyson from a clash of heads, I believe. That's just what happened. And Mike said, what about this fighting? What about this head? That's a butt. Deja vu. Look at the blood streaking down from the the outer portions of the right eye of Tyson. What a terrible thing and what an anticlimactic way to have this fight unfold. Well, it should spur Tyson to big effort. It's the same eye that was cut while he was sparring that postponed the the rematch date of May 3rd, but we're not sure if it's the exact same cut that reopened. Well, one thing is different. He has now got pressure on him. He's just started this fight. And again, just like in the first fight, Tyson looks over for help from the referee. I think he was complaining about a low blow there. I didn't see a blow go south of the border, but that's what he's complaining about, I think. And there's Amanda Holyfield mauling and pushing him around to, to the ropes. If an accidental foul occurs before the end of the fourth round, the fighters rule the technical draw. After the end of the fourth, they go to the car. 
Holyfield digging in with uppercuts to the body. Now going upstairs, looking for the cut. Evander is beating Mike to the punch, and he's making Mike pay. When Mike comes in, he smothers his shot, and he counters well, and Mike doesn't counter the counter. What Mike is doing, though, is, is at least he's crouching down a lot more than he did before, and those punches are going over where they were landing last time. And that uh, cut over the right eye is fairly deep. I just got a pretty good glance at it. Oh, pushing into the ropes by Holyfield. Holyfield showing he's stronger. Again, he's pushing him around like a rag doll. That's not good. Hey, hey, don't take it. Come here. You know better than that. All right? Let's go. Come on. Mills Lane taking charge. Over the top. Bobby Mike's throwing Tyson. a nice right hand, but you see he's not following up with the big combination. It's got to be two and three. It can't be one at a time, Steve. That's not the way to get this one done. And Tyson really beginning to look frustrated now. As they continue to dance around. Holding on to one another. That one punch at a time, Bob, you referred to just happened right then again. If he doesn't do better than that, this is going to be the same thing as the last time. Don't forget Tyson with a plastic surgeon in his corner. He's going to need it. No problem at all. No problem, Mike. Nothing. Okay, it's nothing. A couple deep breaths. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Deep breaths. You're fine, Mike. Yes, he I know. is. Yeah. Hey, bud. All right, sit him down. Okay, you're fine, Mike. No problem. Got to do. That's me under me. Can I hold pressure on it longer? Here you see Vander coming in, and the, the head just winds up slamming into Mike's eye. And unfortunately, it's got it's a cut already. Wasn't a big deal, but I'm sure he didn't mean it. But his head was down. Another look at it. Vander just kind of dives. There it is, right there. Puts his head down and comes straight in and hits Mike right in the corner of his right eye. Bad luck. Dr. Ira Trocki telling Tyson he's fine, but that may be wishful thinking. But before the bell for round three, Tyson comes out fast but forgot his mouthpiece. He's anxious to get this on. I think he's blown the first two rounds, and uh, he better get started. Round two, very bad for Tyson with that bad cut. Pushed away by Holyfield. Again, showing his strength. A sense of urgency here by Tyson. And that's the old Tyson we know. The that's Tiger. the Mike Tyson that came. That's the Mike Tyson that needed to come. A ferocious Mike Tyson, bobbing and weaving. If he can keep that up for the whole round, he could even this thing out as far as uh, intentions. He's got to show he's got it. He's got to bring it. He has to reverse what's going on here. Momentum still with the band. And the crowd really picking up now. All right, let's go back. Come on, let him go. Come on. Let him go, Mike. Come on. A frantic pace. Listen. The crowd is turning. Many yelling Tyson. A swing and a miss with a straight right by Holyfield. Good duck under move by Tyson. But Tyson's still throwing more right hands than he's normally used to doing over the top. He has seen something in the tapes. It's not effective yet, but he is working on it. Will we see his lethal left hook soon? Mike Tyson. A lot of wrestling early in round three. Nice right hand by Mike. He is trying to get that right hand home. They seemingly are relying on one big shot. There you see Vander put that arm around Mike's left hook arm again. Walking him off. Doesn't want to get hit with that bomb on the inside. Oh, a low blow by Holyfield with the left hook, and Mills Lane gives him an air full. Back comes Tyson on the belt. Tyson with a short left hook to the head of Holyfield. A right hand nice. by Mike Tyson to the head of Holyfield, a straight right. The left hook got his attention, then he came back with a nice one to a left hook and a right hand, and Holyfield looked like he was stunned. But what a chin by Holyfield. Good Tyson. stiff jab. That's the jab Mike didn't have in the first fight. What happened here? He got bit, I think. Evander Holyfield, look out! He's pushed right here, above us by Tyson. 
He's got bit in the ear. Oh my goodness, he's got a bloody right ear. Holyfield bit by a dirty Mike Tyson. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, first he had a parachute drop on him, now he had a heavyweight bite him. Bite. What did we get that on tape? Biting Holyfield in the right ear. What a reaction. Well, and he certainly, that hurts like hell, but he certainly had a big bite. And that's a dangerous bite. Oh, disgusting tactics here he by it. Mike Tyson. Diane, one point has been deducted from Tyson for that vicious exhibition. Now they could disqualify him, but they've taken a point, that's for sure. Oh, here comes the commissioner now. They got to figure it out. Well, this is the doctor and the commissioner. They're both taking a look at it. He, he bit his ear. He's out. He bit his ear. I can see the bite mark. Okay. He bit his ear. He's out. So he Mark Ratner, head of the commission. Well, let me ask the doctor. He bit his ear. Can you can he go on? Yes. Okay. It's gonna be a two point deduction. The fight will go on. Two point. Be a two, Mills be a Lane two, was ready to stop the fight for Holyfield. The fight will go on. Overruled by Slip Pomansky, the doctor who said. Mills Lane is a continue. take charge kind of guy. He's a yeah. judge. He bit He'll him take no bullshit. nonsense. He bullshit. It's gonna cost him two points. Two points. Two points off here. He bit his ear. Two points off. Two. Can you believe this? Two oh, points. This is getting stranger and stranger. We're getting to see strange things off. happen in boxing. He should be disqualified today. We go back to the change of referees. I wonder how this would have played in right. Mitch Halpern's eyes. Oh, my goodness. That's a, you know that's a thought, Bobby. You, know you got there a you big, go. tough judge here. Major controversy here in round three. A very angry Evander Holyfield now. A, a left hook. You know, it's funny. Tyson. Mike was having his best he round. Again. He, he did it again. again. Mike Tyson has bitten Evander Holyfield for the second time. And it is all out for. I saw that one. That was right clear. It's a miracle he didn't get bit back. I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable. Disastrous. It's just impossible to conceive. Tyson's bodyguard fighting with the security. The crowd in stunned disbelief here. I, I'm beginning more and more to believe Tyson is a confused individual. He is. I think a it goes beyond confused, confused Ferdy. I think individual. it goes beyond confused. I can't understand it. Mike was having his best round. He was getting Dave Ander. He hit him with some great shots. The right hand got through the hook. Don't know what happened. 
Let's take a look at the second bite. Now he just already he already bitten the man once. It's impossible to believe this happened again, but it did. Just keep your your eyes on Mike's mouth as much as you can, because you will see it. Now you see he's got his hand. He's got this right there. He's got his mouth on it. See it? See it? It's a shark bite right there. That is incredible. It, it's look, look at look at the reaction again from Holyfield. He can't believe it. He got the second one on the other side. You know what? If I were a vendor, I would have kicked him. I'm. I don't know what what held him back. Let's look, look at it again. Bobby. Watch Mike it, it come inside. This is the second bite of the round. Right on Evander's ear. Uh, it's like Dracula time. I've de never seen anything like this in boxing. I can't understand it. I'm sure there will be suspensions and bans galore. What a wild scene here at the MGM Grand. Just a shame that it ha has to come to a conclusion in this fashion. Mike Tyson resorting to biting tactics. And he still wants more as he's being held back by Richie Giacchetti. Just an awful display here by Tyson. I'm nothing short of shock, Steve. I am speechless. I have no response for what I've just witnessed. Mike Tyson has apparently lost his reason, his rationale. He seems possessed right now. He cannot be brought under control. Pedlum above us, people stepping on our table trying to break into the clear. You can see, of course, what's going on in the ring. Mike is still being restrained. Has Holyfield been ushered out of the ring? I can't even see him. Holyfield just came past us, Steve. He is out of the ring. He is clear. Let's go over to Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Steve Albert. Steve, thank you very much. I have Mills Lane. Mills, why did you stop the fight? Because of the first bite on the ear or the second? The second one. The first one was the foul. I took two points. The doctor said he could continue. So I let it continue. And he beat him on the other ear. I told him, I said, one more time like that, that's it. You're gone. I told him both. Knocked the rough stuff up. And he bit him again. I said, that's it. You're gone. As Holyfield leaves the ring, the condition of the ear, could he have continued? And did you disqualify him because of the foul or because he couldn't continue? Oh, no, I disqualified Tyson for the second foul. I told him, do not do that again. If you do, you're gone. So he could have continued. The physical condition of Evander Holyfield was such a view that he could have continued had he not disqualified Tyson. Well, I didn't ask the doctor. I, didn't, I, never, I never reached that point. I wasn't going to ask the doctor. That wasn't a question. That kind of foul would be... You got to take a, 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 a you got to take a position sometime somewhere. That was it. Pandemonium breaking out here as Mike Tyson is leaving the ring, and we'll continue with Mills Lang. As you see, people getting knocked over. Our camera goes down. Mills, let me continue here. Mike Tyson's people and Tyson are going to say, I'm sure you didn't call a foul on the headbutt, which caused the eye, and this could have been a retaliation by Tyson. I I called it a butt, and but you didn't take a point. An unintentional butt, you don't take a point. An unintentional butt, unless it's occurred the second time. An unintentional butt, it, that if, if you go to the, if, if you fight stop, you go to the school cards after four rounds. There's a difference between an unintentional butt and a bite. Do you feel as though that's what Tyson was doing, however, that I, he was I, retaliating? I, I do not know. You'll have to ask him. I don't speculate. I do not, do not know the answer to that. Obviously, disappointment, Mills. Got to be disappointing for you, Fred. To have it come to a conclusion like this as well. You know, you do. You play the hand you dealt and do the best you can with the cards. That's all I can tell you. All right, Mills Lane. Thank you for your time. Let's send it back now to Steve Albert. We're trying to uh, get an interview with Evander Holyfield. Love to to hear his reaction. Why should Holyfield even ever have to fight Tyson again after this terrible display by by Mike Tyson? Steve, it's unbelievable. I don't believe Evander would ever sign to fight Mike again. I don't think that it would be an issue any longer. It's not about the fight. It's just about it being real personal. That's beyond boxing. Oh, we understand now. Purdy Pacheco is ready with Evander Holyfield. All right, Evander Holyfield. Two bites on each, each side. One piece is missing out of your, your plastic surgeon. Said your reaction. 
Well, first of all, I had to get praise to the Lord. Uh, uh, you know, Jesus, Lord, you know, uh, I'm still the champion. You still get the glory. And, uh, you know, the things that happened, it didn't have to happen. Uh, you know, you know, I was beating him, and, you know, he spit out of my pigeon and bit me in the ear. Is that the act of a crazed man? Because to beat you twice, I mean, to bite you twice is a little crazy. Well, you know, the whole thing is that, you know, you know, in the first one, you know, my corner, uh, you know, told me to uh, just keep cool. And, I, you know, I, I, I thought about that, you know, a distraction would happen. And, I, and, and his prophecy told me to, you know, just, you know, just breathe deep and just concentrate on Jesus. Then I went back out there again, and I caught him with good shots, and he bit my ear on purpose again. But how can he bite your ear with a mouthpiece? You spit it out he, in the mouth? He spit the mouthpiece out. He spit the mouthpiece out and, and, and bit me on the ear on the last time. You know, the whole thing is that, the whole thing is that, you know, really, the only chance that he thought he could is just to go. My whole thing is that, you know, the whole thing is my ear bleeding. And, uh, and this guy continued to foul. You know, I'm, I'm thankful that we have a referee like Mill Lane see the situation that this thing is in tension. And, you know, it's just, it just amazed when... Would, would, this, would this rule out uh, a rematch? It's stupid to ask you right now for a rematch. This guy went and lost his marbles. Well, is, is, is a rematch possible, or are you so mad you wouldn't even think about well, that? Well, you know, the whole thing is that, you know, I, I have to concentrate and I have to think, you know, I have to think about the situation. Because the, the big thing is to, to, you know, a rules and regulation, mandatory things. Uh, but the rules, you got to understand when a person deliberately bites you constantly and, try, and trying to and trying to break my arm because... You know, in the corner, he's just doing illegal tactics. You know, Mill Lane said, you know, break. You know, the whole thing is that I mean, there's just an easy way to get out of the fight, the foul, because you know you're going to get disqualified still fighting through. I am mean, that don't show no courage whatsoever. Everybody know how to get out of the fight. All you have to do is foul. You'll get yourself out. Then you can say, well, he didn't beat me. Would you say this is the act of a desperate man? Would you say he was desperate in there? That is that the word you think to cause a guy to do something so unusual? Well, yes, the whole thing is that, you know, I, I truly believe that fear Fear, fear itself calls people to do the easiest thing, the quickest thing to get out. I'm saying the whole thing is that we're in a fight already, so wh why do you have to bite somebody? If you feel that you can whoop me, why you can't whoop me with the gloves on? Well, this is a boxing match. This is not a, a, a rumble. When, when, when the fight is over, then you get brave and you really want to fight. I'm saying, you know, you, know, you had a chance to fight. You know, why you got to bite me on my ear? The whole thing is that, you know, it, it, it's not real. You know, my whole thing is that I just give praise to the Lord that it is not worse than it is. I thought my ear had fell off. Well, your plastic surgeon here says a piece is missing out of your ear, which means you'll have to have a plastic repair. And either either ear, since human bites are so dangerous, have to be taken care of tonight at the hospital. I look forward to the hospital. Good right. thing I got a doctor. All right. Good. I mean, remarkable. Let's go to Gray. All right, thank you, Ferdy. We are outside of Mike Tyson's locker room. There is utter pandemonium going on here. Finally, a little bit of some quiet. John Horn, the co-manager of Mike Tyson, joins us right now. John, this is a scene like we have never seen before. It was totally out of control. What is the situation inside of that locker room, and, and can you ascertain why Mike bit Evander? Well, I'm not going to even comment on that until I see what really happened. But all I know is this. Evander has been headbutting Mike for two fights. Headbutting is a foul, a complete foul. But it's been happening so often, so long, that when a person headbutts another person, cuts both of their eyes, it becomes a common thing. And it's okay to let that go. I'm well, this was, a was, know, this, no, was this a retaliation? No, it, it turned into, Evander turned it into a street fight a long time ago. A long time ago, and I'm not going to even get off into until I understand everything and see what happened. And all I know is Mike got a cut over his eye, three inches long. Evander got a little nip on his ear that don't mean nothing. Mike and wanted that's the bottom to line. He jumped around like a little bitch. That's what he did. Okay, now, now, now and Mike didn't do nothing. Mike didn't complain. He didn't say nothing. He didn't ask the man to stop the fight because headbutt's been going on so long. He been, it's, it's okay, but it's a foul. You can't fight anybody, fight. regardless. I didn't say he bit keep. nobody. I well, said we got to. I said when I was looking at everything, was well, determined. But it's, it's, it's very it's clear. Mike got a three-inch cut over his eye. It's not for a too. punch. Okay, so therefore, what can I say? One is accidental, and, and it no, appears come as though on, please. One head, one head, but maybe accidental. Fifteen is not. What would you have liked to have seen done by Mills Lane? This was the referee like of your choice. I would like to see him let the fight go. The ear ain't got nothing to do with his fight. He got a little cut on the ear, man. The ear ain't got nothing to do with the fight. Ain't got nothing to do with his arms, his no. legs, his hand, his body, nothing. You, you don't need to scream at me. You don't need to scream at me. Mike you don't got need a to cut over his eye. Okay. Mike got a three-inch cut over his eye. That, that the blood will penetrate to his eye, blur his vision, and everything. 
Now, I understand now, Mills what... Mills Lane, I, let, me, let me clarify it for you, since you don't know what Mills Lane has said to us. Mills Lane said he didn't disqualify him for the first bite because he was willing to let that go with the two-point deduction. The second bite, however, at the end of the round is what he said he had just had enough. Well, I'm gonna have, I, I, I have to see everything involved first. I can't comment on, 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 on no bite or whatever the case may be. All I know is Mike got a three-inch gash over Are you unhappy eye. with the referee, Mills Lane? Not at, not at all. Okay. Has nothing. No, 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 not at all. I'm unhappy with all the head butts and stuff for two fights. Mike done been cut four times by this guy, neither time by a punch. Now you tell me what that, what that is. That's all I know. Everything else I'm going to have to see about, I'm going to have to go over. I don't know nothing about that. But he turned into a street fight a long time ago. The tapes clearly show that I'm being told in the first fight that Mike caused the butts, and, and that was ascertained. In this one, it was an accidental butt, or though it appeared, although it appeared, what would you have liked to have seen done at that moment? It's too late after the fact to bite somebody. What would you have liked to have seen at that time? All I know is this. There was nothing wrong with Evander Holyfield that would have kept him from performing. That's all I know. Okay. So, I, so I, I can't but, comment but on But you're not else. unhappy with the referee? This was your referee? No, I'm not unhappy because I don't even know the order terms yet. I, everything happened so quickly, I don't even know all the conditions. All I know is my fighter got a three-inch cut over his eye. Okay. Can, can we talk to Mike Tyson? No, not right now. Mike has Don? a three-inch cut he has to take care of. Thank you very okay. much. Man. Okay, John. Don King, obviously not the way that anybody expected that this was going to go. Very disappointing to everybody who bought the fight and the, those in attendance here. Your thoughts on this disqualification? Well, I think that the headbutts was there, and I think that when he had the headbutts, and as he had had headbutts prior to that, it should have been some type of a, a point taken away or something to it to acknowledge these headbutts because this was said so in priority before the fight started to watch the headbutts. You know what I mean? And so it's very difficult when two athletes are fighting. You know what I mean? And things can happen, but these headbutts seemingly... Don, but the fact of the matter is, 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 is the headbutts, yes, it is a problem. Everybody will acknowledge that Holyfield was in, in, in violation with the headbutts. The proper reaction, however, is not to bite, correct? Well, I don't... That, the proper reaction is not to bite. You know what I mean? But I guess when a guy feels that he's pleading with the referee to give him some consideration and he don't get the consideration then he just goes beyond reason i mean you must be able to deal with reason and practicality but you got two athletes in there highly passionate uh very hot ready to fight and fight they were doing a fight was just beginning i don't know why it was which would be stopped what well because holyfield it was determined by uh uh uh, Mills Lane, uh, you, uh, well, let me stop you right there before we go on to that. You're saying Mills Lane should not have stopped the fight on the second no, fight? No, when, when Holyfield got bit, uh, bitten, Mills Lane said he took a point from Mike Tyson. Then a second point. And, and uh, what of the second point? And then at the end of the round, it, Mills Lane uh, has said that Tyson bit him on the other ear, which in this instance I believe would be the left ear. Two bites on the ear. I, I didn't see it, so I can't comment on That's that. That's why he disqualified him. Well, I don't know. I'd have to see that before I make any comments. I don't want to be irrational. Okay. Let's anymore. move on. Where does this leave Mike Tyson and his career, and will there be a third bout between these two, and do you think you could ever put anything like that together? Well, I want to find out first the facts, and then after you find out the facts, you see what you can do. I think that uh, when a fighter like Mike Tyson or Holyfield find that they're being wrong and they're not getting the consideration that they think they should have, then they try to take it in their own hands, and that's, that's not always the right thing to do. Uh -huh. But nevertheless, that's what be done when you have people out there that's in, a, in, a, in, in this type of a uh, atmosphere and climate and it looked like they were just beginning to fight. Could you ever, do you feel, convince Holyfield to take this fight again? I don't know. I don't know whether I can or not until we find out what all of the evidence is and find out what is happening, what actually happened. You know what I mean? I'm just like a fan as anyone else at this particular time. It would be a terrible time. disappointment yeah, if there wasn't another, correct? Yeah, it certainly would be because these guys are certainly going to prove that they're two good athletes, but they got to be able to fight and they want to fight and look like that's what they were doing. I didn't know. I thought after the points was taken, that was the punishment meted out for whatever the uh, the error was in Mike Tyson. What happened after that, I don't know, because when he sat down, the bell rang, they went to the corners, I thought they was coming back out to fight, and all of a sudden, it was the DQ. I know you don't make this decision, but should these fighters be paid for this evening's work? There's some 60-some-odd million dollars who went out tonight, out of your pocket. Yes, they should be paid. They came and they fought, you know what I mean? It's, it, boxing is unpredictable. You don't know what's gonna happen in a boxing match, that's what makes it so great. But the fact of the matter is, well, I think we should first try to find out what happened before we start making judgment. What do you say to the folks who bought the fight who are terribly disappointed who are watching this right now? I'm disappointed myself because of the outcome. I want to see this fight go to the, to the finale. You know what I mean? This, is a, this was the sound and the fury. This was something that everybody purported and recognized as going to be a great event. 
and then here comes the headbutts, and then here comes the retaliation for the headbutts. But after you get taken the points from the man, I just think that uh, they should have been able to fight. If you, want, if you get a headbutt or a low blow, you get five minutes to recuperate. I think it should have took another step to say, give him five minutes to recuperate or something to let these people get their money's worth and be able to deal with this fight. As the man in charge of this show, i got to put you on the spot right here. What will you do in the upcoming moments to make sure that we have a word with Mike Tyson before we leave the air? Well, I'm going to do everything I can to talk to Mike Tyson, to let Mike Tyson tell his side of the story. I think it's only fair and proper that he should do that, and I would do everything I can to get him to do that. Also, I'd like to get to talk to the commission and uh, find out what their uh, judgment is on, on a situation of this type. And uh, when uh, this has happened, after you take the points, to come back and take the fight, too. I don't understand it, so maybe they can explain it to me. Well, as you say, only in America, and only in America, Steve Albert, would we have seen something quite like this tonight. We hope to have Mike Tyson shortly. Back out to you. All right, Jim. Uh, Mike Tyson disqualified for fighting both ears of Evander Holyfield in the third round. Let's just clean up some business before uh, we talk here at ringside on camera. Coming up Sunday, July 27th, Showtime presents a brand new original series that picks up where Stargate, the movie, left off. It's Stargate SG-1. When the gate opens, the adventure begins. Every week, a new gate, a new universe, a new world to explore. Don't miss the season premiere of Stargate SG-1. Unlock the universe, Sunday, July 27th, right here on Showtime. Steve Albert back with the fight doctor, uh, Ferdy Pacheco and uh, Bobby Chez. And uh, I thought this uh, was an inexcusable despicable illegal exhibition by Mike Tyson what do you think I, I, I agree wholeheartedly I, I think when I, you're hearing Don King trying to kind of make a patch up he didn't see the ears I just I just came from examining his ears one of them's got a chunk of flesh missing about a half inch off the, off the crown they're gonna have to do plastic surgery reconstruct that it's out it's a chunk of, of flesh out that's not just a little bite that is a wolf like bite I don't understand the second uh, bite and uh, I understand why they disqualified him. I don't think anybody can make any justification or rationalization for something as bizarre as not one, but two bites. Something clicked inside of Mike's brain. We've been saying Mike Tyson's an un un unpredictable and confused young man. I don't think you can see any evidence of mental confusion and unpredictability more than we just saw there with a, with a fighter biting another fighter in the same round two times and taking a chunk out of his ear. I think and end of the story. This guy is one confused individual. I'll open this up to the to the both of you Ferdy and Bobby uh, perhaps uh, uh, construed as an extreme statement. But is Mike Tyson's career over. I don't think so. And I think I think he's his big aspiration to be considered one of the great heavyweights is gone. I don't care what he does. He's never going to be considered a great heavyweight that he can fight and continue. Yes. OK let's let's see right. if we can get. You're Tyson. hearing what I'm hearing. We've yeah, got Mike Tyson, Tyson available interview. for an interview right now. Let's go back over to Jim Gray. All right, thank you, Steve. I'm now joined by Mike Tyson. Mike, first of all, let's go in chronological order. The headbutt in the second round, uh, the headbutt in the second round, which opened the gash on your eye. Tell us about that first, please. Um, he butted me um, in the first round, but then he butted me again in the second round. Then as soon as he butted me, I watched him. He had me holding, and he looked right at me, and I saw him, and he was going for, and he kept going for, and he butted me again. He kept going down and coming up, and he charged into me. And no one warned him. No one gave him, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting butted like that. Life. I got children to raise, and this guy keeps butting me, trying to cut me and get me stopped on cut. I got to retaliate. Now, immediately, you stopped. You stopped fighting immediately right there, and you turned to Mills Lane, and you said what? And he, the result was he did nothing. But what did you say to Mills right at that time? I don't remember what I said. I told him that he butt me, but I know I complained about being butted. And we, and we complained about the, um, the first fight. Listen, Holyfield is not the tough warrior everyone says he is. He got little nicks on him there and he quit. I got an eye. I got one eye. I got one eye. He's not impaired. He got ears. I got one eye. Big day. If he take one, I got another one. I'm ready to fight. He didn't want to fight. I'm ready to fight him right now. Yeah, Mills Lane, no. Mills Lane stopped the fight. It wasn't Holyfield who stopped the Oh, fight. he didn't want to fight. Holy he didn't want to fight. Let me ask. Let me we don't know what Mills did. Don't okay. put nothing okay. on Mills. Okay. Well, Mills said he stopped the fight. You bit him. Was that a retaliation for the eye when you bit him in his ear? Regardless of what I did, he bit butt me for two fights. But you got to address it, Mike. Why I did, did you address, bite him? No, I did address it. I addressed it in the ring. 
Why, why did you do that, though, Mike? I mean, was look that the proper me. response? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I got to go home. My kids are going to be scared of me. Look at me, man. What are you going to do now I in terms of your I career, Mike? Well, you can continue to fight. Respect, okay. Brother. Okay. Okay. That's the story from back here. Let's send it back out to you, Steve. Of course, they're not going to get on Mills Lane. They're the ones that triggered the change. But let me ask you this. Does a headbutt warrant this kind of ridiculous?